What's up fam? Today we are talking about the Artesia Pro microphone, the AMC20. So today we're going to get into how it sounds and how you could possibly use it in your workflow. Let's uh let's crack this open and see what's inside. Let's see. Let's probably open it from this side. All right. So that's uh pretty much what's in there. Okay. Nice. That is that is nice. That is really nice. Got some weight to it. And some uh smells new. <laughs> Came with a nice cable. And this thing here. Alright. So let's pop this on right now. Hey, hold up. Where is... Oh yeah, that's legit. That is legit. That is it right there. Dope. Dope stuff. All right, so this is the Professional Artesia AMC 20 Cardioid Condenser Microphone, and it's a studio mic. So producers, singers, streamers, gamers, podcasters, this might be your best bang for the buck cardioid condenser microphone studio solution for your content and for your microphone. So let's check out how it sounds and what it can do. You might want to throw your headphones on so you can get a better uh, listening experience for what this microphone actually sounds like. All right, so we have monitoring on on the microphone and I now have the microphone about, let's say about a foot away from my away from my face. So right now what you're hearing is the audio from my microphone into the Shure MVI interface into the iPad. So like I said, this is a professional studio microphone, cardioid condensing microphone, made for podcasters, made for streamers, gamers, uh, singers, and songwriters. I'm pretty much I'm I'm pretty much in a quiet room right now, so uh, I don't know I don't know how much ambient sound is around in the room right now, so I'll be quiet so we can uh, listen to that. Doesn't sound like too much or anything is going on in the background so I'm pretty happy with that right now I have the uh, microphone set to about halfway and I'll show the levels on my interface as well as have the screen recording of the microphone on the iPad so right now we're in uh, audio share and I can uh, actually choose to throw some effects on this with my iPad so from the iPad what I'm gonna do is go into the effects tab and I already had uh, audio effects uh, pulled up so I'm just gonna tap uh, a ran the random key on this and wow that's pretty cool <laughs> so this is what it sounds like with some crazy effects on it and you can see that it's picking up pretty pretty clear Pretty crystal clear. So let's go through some of these presets on here. Uh, let's go. I'm right now. I'm in the presence maker. I'm gonna go into old radio. Chorus reverb. So you can get up close like this, and you can have a whole lot of body. Bring a little bit more bass into what you're saying. Let's go into another set. Dark ambience. That's pretty crazy. Extreme can. Some voice. All right. So, over delay. Over delay. Wow. wow, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's crazy. 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 All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn a lot of these effects off. Uh, and yeah, this is how it sounds uh, regularly. So like I said, you can get up close and you can have your podcast microphone just like this and so right now what I'm hearing on the monitoring from the iPad, I'm hearing very, very crisp highs, uh, some very detailed mids, and some very pronounced lows. I'm actually really surprised of the audio quality uh, given the price of this, um, just under $120. This is actually a really good deal for what you're getting, especially the fact that it comes with this shock mount as well as the um, pop filter. 
And what the pop filter does is actually helps with the plosives. So it helps with the S's and the P's and the B's and stuff like that. So it's not like overpowering and uh, giving you any type of uh, clipping or feedback into your microphone. Once again, I have the microphone set to about halfway on the interface and uh, levels are looking pretty, pretty normal. One of the first things that I did notice is that it did have some weight to it and that really shocked me. I actually expected it to be a lot smaller. Um, seeing the pictures online, I expected this to be a whole lot smaller and a whole lot uh, less weight. Um, I've seen some other uh, microphones online and I've actually used some and they actually felt like toy microphones. And this one actually didn't feel like a toy microphone at all. I actually own a blue baby bottle and that actually has a lot of similarities in sound quality as well as build quality on this microphone. And the blue baby bottle I think is about maybe almost $400. So at a fraction of the cost, you're getting just as good a quality from build quality as well as the audio quality on this. So there is a version of this that comes with a lot more for like $80 more, which is still still a steal still a steal but <laughs> for 80 more dollars i believe you get the artesia pro audio interface as well as a um a boom arm like the one that i'm using to hold up the the microphone right now and, and then like i said you get the audio interface uh which i've already done a, a review on in another video so i'll link that in the description or uh in the in the cards and from what I can tell, this is going to be really, really cool. So I want to try something real quick. And like I said, this is the audio quality going straight into the microphone from the iPad. So imagine what it sounds like on the computer. Um, there is one more thing that I do want to test out before uh, we get going. Okay, so I got my guitar. And I want to see if I can get this to record my guitar with some nice ambient vibes and we're gonna go ahead and hit a recording inside of uh wow i probably should have tuned this guitar before i got started <laughs> that sounds terrible all right so now that we got that tuned let's go ahead and try to uh rusty on my guitar skills too so so let's put some effects on it and see see how that sounds let's go back to this This is actually pretty dope. If I wanted to re record any of this stuff, I would have just hit record inside of the um, inside of the audio audio share app, and you can see that it's now recording. And then I can hit stop, and let's go ahead and play it back. So, audio share app, and you can see that it's now recording. And then I can hit stop. And uh, that actually sounds pretty good to me. You can actually see the wavelengths here, the level here, and you can see where I was in relation to how I recorded that and how, how, uh, how loud I was talking. So once again, if you need a professional cardioid condenser microphone on a budget, this is about 120 bucks with the bundle, everything you'll need to get started in your, uh, your home studio, recording at home, streaming from home, 
everything that you need or take this stuff on the go. Like I said, it comes with a, um, the bundle comes with a audio interface. This is what it sounds like. This is the Arteza Pro uh, AMC 20. <laughs> so back to the camera audio, I'm actually excited to use this microphone in a couple of my projects as well as uh, some uh, some random stuff, some, some random sampling that I want might want to do uh, here on the road using uh, this microphone here. Uh, or even the the microphone that I just talked about the AMC um, the like I said the first thing that I noticed was the build quality and I'm really excited to see um, what a comparison would sound like against my baby blue microphone so if that's something you guys are interested in seeing or hearing a comparison for the AMC 20 and the blue baby bottle microphone that was a mouthful <laughs> if you guys want to see a comparison for that or hear a comparison for that just let me know in the comments and i'll try to grab some um i'll try to grab some demos of that but this microphone is actually really really good for the price as well as the build quality the uh everything it's just i'm, I'm really impressed with this microphone so yeah <laughs>